how you doing? So I just heard about this shooting in um, Milwaukee. I don't know a lot about it, but uh, it seems that the guy who, police officer who shot, did what he should do. The man had a weapon, body cam camera supports that. The man was told to drop said weapon, it was a gun. The man didn't drop weapon, the man turned to cop um, with said weapon in his hand. Uh, to point it at him, cop shot. Sorry, that's a good shoot. And, and you know what? I'm not even sorry. That's a good shoot. However, I can understand the unrest. I get it. I get it. The problem is, is because, well, first of all, where this happened is the poorest zip code in the entire United States. The unemployment rate for 53206 is, I just heard today from a very reliable source, 56%. Now, there's something wrong with that, don't you think, guys? So, I get, and it's predominantly an African American area. I know one Mexican that lives there, that's it. So, I get why they're rioting, I get why they're upset. Another cop, another dead black man. This, this is why bad cops need to be off the force. Because there should be no doubt in any of our minds, no matter what our race, that that police officer did what he was supposed to do. The problem is because of the bad cops who shoot unarmed black men, because of the bad cops who pull over driving while black, who pull over black men just to harass them. The bad cop that shot a man for having a broken taillight caused all of this. Because African Americans feel like they're under attack. And I don't blame them. And neither should you. They live in a country where the White House was built by slave labor, but nobody likes to acknowledge it. Where white privilege is brushed off because like it doesn't exist. Hey, I know I'm privileged. Let's just get that straight. And you don't have to agree with me, but if you're white and you're going, I'm not privileged, you're an idiot. Because you are, you are. You can drive down the street anywhere and not be harassed because of your race. A black man in a nice car driving in the wrong neighborhood, and by wrong neighborhood, I mean a mostly white neighborhood, will get stopped by a police officer. I just read an article, and I wish I could remember where I read it, but they were talking about how African Americans get pulled over in a certain section of um, in Minnesota because once they cross over into the suburb, into this ritzy titsy neighborhood, they start getting pulled over. They get pulled over 36 times to, or is it 36% more? one of those two. I just, you know, I like to be a little. So let's say a prayer for the family of the man who was shot, because you know what? Doesn't matter what he was doing. Somebody loved him. He was somebody's son, some, somebody's grandson. Somebody loved him. And let's say a prayer for that poor police officer, because I don't care if he is in the right. And that can't be easy to face somebody and pull the trigger. Think about it. Could you really do it? I'm sure there's some of you that are in the military and they're like, yeah, I can do it. You have a different mindset. I'm talking about us average Joe Schmoes out on the street. Could you do it? We all like to talk big, but no, we couldn't. And taking somebody's life is not that easy. And, and that makes him a good cop because if he was sitting there going, I did the right thing and it's no big deal, um, then I'd have a problem. He should feel a little guilty because sh he should never pull that trigger without a, a speck of a doubt. And not doubt because he thinks, oh, I might get in trouble. Doubt of, is there anything else I can do? I don't want him to get shot either. But it looks to me like it, it's just one of those unfortunate things that if it had happened 10 years ago or five years ago, or even two years ago, well, probably three years ago, it would not have blown out of proportion like it is. 
But now, blacks don't feel safe. They don't feel safe. Did you know that blacks are convicted? Something like, for the same crimes, like 13 times? I'm trying to get those statistics. You guys know I'm all about the data. I'm all about the data, about the data. No trouble. Anyway, I'm all about the data. So I'm trying to get the data on this, but I wanna, I wanna learn. We don't keep decent statistics in this country. We don't keep, you know, anyway, I could just go on and on about that. So anyway, that's my take. That's my take today. I didn't hear the, you know, the news or whatever, but it's a sad day for Milwaukee. It's a sad, sad day for Milwaukee. It's, it just is, you know, it just is. Um, and we have to do something to prevent this. Yes, it was a good shoot, but we have to prevent the bad ones so that riots like this do not happen when there's a good one. I'll be very surprised if they come back and say anything different. Um, you know, the rebel, the rouser, the standing up for people's rights, one is be able to say this was wrong, but the body cam says, the guy pointed to him, it's visual, you know? So, I, it's just a sad day. So let's all say prayers for them. Also, I went karaoke on Saturday at Savannah's, um, the Savannah House in Wadsworth, and um, I'm thinking, I don't know if we have plans this weekend, I'm gonna have to look, but I'm thinking we might be there um, again on um, this coming Saturday, I gotta ask Cheryl, because uh, that's a good time. But I met this lady there who's going through her second bout of cancer treatment. I'm just gonna call her Angel because she's saying like an angel. And I just ask that all of you guys listening to this, please say a prayer for her, okay? Because um, that's rough. Two bouts, her mom was there, her friends were there. Um, I know her friends were from Tennessee, I'm not sure. I didn't hear where she was from, but. And she's saying like an angel, like an angel. Beautiful, beautiful voice. So, um, but uh, let's say a prayer for her, if you wouldn't mind, you know? What's it hurt? And even if you don't believe, say a prayer because you know God hears them anyway. You may feel silly, but the rest of us don't. All right, so that's my little scoop for the day. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you soon, commuters.